Right now we're going to unpackage a P4.7 and we're going to demonstrate a few deck installs. What we have here is a Wing Series P4.7. What we're going to show you guys is a hard deck install. So let's get started. Starting off with the hard deck, you want to grab the stern board. It has these cutouts here so the water can enter the scupper pipes and out the scupper and self bail system there. So Aaron, go ahead and hop in the, in the craft. Hand this to him. So what you want to do is leave one side inflated and the other side you want to let some air out. So let's go ahead and do that. Pretty decent amount of air. That's good. So you want to stay away from this stern cleat, so you want to stay forward of that. Outside guy is just going to pull on the inboard lifeline. Inside guy is going to push on the fabric right above the cleat. Stern cleat. Come back a little bit. Okay, so now we can, you can sit on your butt over here and you're going to push with your heels, grab a lot of that inboard lifeline. There you go, left and right, back and forth. Now if it gets really tight, what you can do is let a little bit of air out on this chamber. That relaxes the tube a little bit and allows it to come back, the deck board. Now, if it's just super tight, you can do what he's doing there and just start heel kicking it back and forth. Now, you want to reach here right in the middle to make sure you got an even spacing between the transom and the deck board, and you want to be flush up against the inside of this bat. You can feel here, you feel there. If you're good, this deck board is fully installed. Next, after the stern board is fully installed, grab one of your wide joiners, cinder it on the stern panel, should slide in easily. All right, now we have two gussets that are going to go on either end. All right, now while installing this last deck panel, the large panel, you want to ensure that the thrust board flap is on top of the deck. That way you can slide it back with these. Uh, you also want to make sure that the wing is facing up on your gussets, and you want to ensure that the, there's no gap in between the gusset and your main wide joiners. Now, Aaron, go ahead, kick it back, please. And there we go. All right. Next process, last wide joiner. Secure it all the way. Now your thrust board is tapered because the tube starts to taper as you get towards the bow. So if you don't know which side is which, set it on a flat surface and it, and it leans, the side that it's leaning towards is the side that goes towards the bow. Start with a wedge underneath one side. Now the tube is flat, so the material should fold, and it should be a very simple install. And rocking the tube like this can help as well. And uh, again, with the spacing, make sure that your spacing is tight, and it is. And what we can do is we can go ahead and bolt down the thrust board. the air hose. So uh, now that we have thrust board aft all installed, you need to inflate the tube 100% until the PRVs light off. So the reason that we air it back up for this next process is that these, these boards are very tight and if the tube is flat or has, doesn't have much air, it just folds on itself and the fabric doesn't really allow you to work and throw these boards in there. So by airing it up, the tube isn't on itself. This here is the forward deck board with these hand holes. So what you're going to do is you're going to grasp it. Once the tube's fully inflated, you're going to walk up to the bow. And you're going to throw that in there as hard as you can, as even as you can, and as far as you can up. It'll make it much easier to install these next few boards by getting that all the way up in there. You have your first narrow joiner. Goes up the bow, centered on the deck board. 
Make sure it's secure. Reach in there on both sides. Make sure that it's completely seated. Second bow deck board. Put it in there at an angle. Lock it up. Kick it into place. Reach and feel. Ensure the deck board is seated fully. Next narrow joiner. Third and final deck board. Now what we've done is we've created maximum distance from this joiner forward and from the thrust board back. This is the biggest gap and this is the easiest way to install the deck right here. Okay, so once you get that third bow panel in there, all the bow panels are assembled and you ensure that you haven't lost any space. Last joiner goes in there. Now, the joiner is wider on top than it is on bottom. So it's easier to install last. Put that on, centered, make sure it's even. Then you can hop around the deck boards and use your weight. And then you Jump this way, this is smidge. There he goes. There you go. And you can even pull this back with the hand holes. Make sure everything's back where it needs to be. Just pull all that back. And if it's snug, you're good to go. And then once you have it fully installed and your thrust board is bolted down, go ahead and air the keel up. Now when installing the bow deck board with the bow handles, you want to go ahead and shove that in as far as you can with the tube fully inflated. You can sit back on your butt and you can push it up evenly as far as you can and then go ahead and install that first joiner. Second deck board, make sure that the joiner and the deck board are flush. Then you'll go with the next deck board, the final deck board, same process. That one's a little bit harder to get in there but you'll sit on your butt and you'll just kick it in. And once you have that, ensure that the thrust board did not move away from the stern deck boards and it's fully installed forward and aft. So you have the greatest maximum distance. And then you can literally just drop in that last joiner. And if you have a little bit of wiggle room, just walk across the deck board. Uh, a, a jump will we'll do it, move in the right direction, and then your deck's fully installed. That concludes the hard deck install of a Wing P4.7.